Hi right, guys, welcome back to the Legal Gentleman YouTube channel, the Legal Gentleman Studio. Today we've got Martin in the chair. How are you, mate? I'm doing good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm very well, mate. Very well. Busy. Busy. So, yeah, oh, we can't busy. complain. Yeah, we can't busy. complain. Uh, so, what are we doing, mate? What's the plan? So, I'm open to your suggestions, basically. I okay. think you're a stylish guy, very <laughs> handsome man. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, we haven't paid him for this. <laughs> I've, uh, I've basically been kind of sweeping my hair across to the side for okay. years. Okay. Um, Last July, I actually had a hair transplant. Oh, so, nice, man, um, yeah. Cool. It's still a high hairline, you know, it's what they call Norwood 2 now, but I was a Norwood 3 Vertex, so like okay. the crown's perfect now, yeah, it looks yeah. great. Um, went to Turkey, so it's not, I'm not going to say it's the most perfect of transplants. Like on this side, the hairs, the way that they kind of, they yeah. kind of go up, yeah. which is great for my current style because it's like I don't need any product and yeah, it just yeah. kind of naturally goes that way. Yeah. Um, obviously, the donor area, which you'll have seen. You know, which you, get, back. Yeah, you, see, yeah, you know, yeah. it's it's not perfect, but I think it is a good job, and I'm very happy with it. But now yeah. I'm open to something different, basically. Right. Okay. Let's so have a look where the fringe goes. Let's have a look where they put it. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, because what they've done, they've kind of they've they've almost straightened up the hairline, but without obviously taking it back too far, they've kind of straightened it up. The only the only problems with that is that when. Like you said, when, when it's so low, because your natural round your head is much higher up here, when it goes quite low, they're, they're always like the little bits you've got to kind of disconnect and leave a bit longer. Um, so I would definitely suggest working with your fringe, all yeah. right? Definitely keeping some fringe in there. Um, the only reason I say that is because if, when I do it, you'll see in a second, when you do the round of the head, it's a bit like, it's a, bit like a mannequin, right? In the sense where the mannequin hairline is created, right? Yours is essentially created from what it was. Yeah. So where the round of your head is, the hairline tends to be a bit lower than for than a natural hairline. So we just have to sit that into account. It's basically icing the fringe on, on pretty much every transplant that I've done, unless they've kind of kept it quite high, um, which some people prefer. Um, now, in terms of the back and sides, now the do your donor area isn't very thick. So you're probably, did you notice just, because I can still see it slightly around here. Yeah, yeah, so. Back. When it gets yeah, longer, you'll notice yeah. it a lot more, right? I mean, you no, know, weirdly, so when I've had my hair a bit longer, you can't see no, any no. of the patches. Obviously, you, you can see a little bit of patches yeah, now, yeah, which yeah. is one of the kind of the things you've got to take into consideration with the transplant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, what people have said on I, I run a YouTube channel called Hairline Confessions, and what people have said to me is oh. try um, like a skin fade because when it's shorter, you won't be able to tell. So, mm -hmm. either short or long, yeah. whereas in between, you can kind of tell. So, I'm open to a skin fade, but. There's ways around it because it doesn't have to always go down to skin, right? As long as you see scalp exposure, you won't see the patchiness. Yeah. Essentially. So if you went down to a one, I think you'd be fine. I mean, and, and it only has to be low, right? You, the patchiness, is, the donor area is from here, right? So as long as the one was anything from that upwards, you'd be fine. You wouldn't yeah. have to worry too much about that. My only worry is that the crown is so short at the moment, like you've, you've got no crown at the back there. So what's essentially happening is that everything's focused on the front being so heavy. And it's all to the back, or at the round and the silhouette of, of your your shape of the head. So I'll just show you what I mean. Well, that'll so, be from like the last haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially, it is. Yeah. Because I actually had grafts on the crown, and it's such an improvement. If I showed you them before. And oh no, no, it's it's more just a how oh, oh, just short. Right, I see. Yeah. So what you've got essentially is loads of hair here, that and nothing underneath it. Well, that should almost be the same length. Right. That bit and that bit there, right? What's happened is when you step away, if I just turn you, if you hold it for me yeah. and use the back mirror, look in that mirror to see in that mirror. If I turn you to the side a bit more like that, you can, can you still see yourself. You can turn it around that way so you can still see yourself. Do you see the way everything just comes to the front because yeah. it's so flat? It's, yeah, it's way at the top. Yeah, yeah but, but it isn't. Well, it is, it, it is and it isn't, right? If that crown was out here, like that, where, where, where it ideally would be because of all that length, if that was the same yeah. length, do you see that that's along that bit and that bit's coming over there? If that was I think the same length, then what you'd find is that wouldn't be as weighty at the front. Okay. You've obviously got the disconnection at the front there, but that'd be that'd be fine. But we just need to take into consideration this bit. I can't do much about that because it's so short. But there's a nice there's a big long piece next to it. Right? Yeah. That bit's just too short there to change that unless we go nice and short on the bottom. Yeah. But it would I'd like that longer personally. Ideally that would be great longer. But, you know, it is what it is, right? Yeah, we yeah. make it work, okay? Um, but in terms of the style on the top, I think, I think you should show off that hairline, personally. Okay. I think you should have your, your fringe up. I don't think it's, it's an age-appropriate hairstyle as well. I always thought about age-appropriate because we have to be realistic about it. 
I think if you wore your fringe, not as high, nowhere near as long, right? I think if you were to, now this, you, you agree or disagree, right? This is just what I'm seeing. First impressions, I'm getting, you've had a hair transplant on the front. There's no point in having a hair transplant if you're gonna cover it up all the time. That's the way I look at it, right? You might as well show it off, right? Now if you were to take off, say about that much, that would be a nice length of balance into your face shape. You've got an almost heart shape face, right? Well, you, you would have actually, because the hairline would be higher. You've had a real heart shape face, but as you can see what comes down to a point here, that's a real sharp point. That being flat is bringing your cheeks out more. Right. See, and it's closing over because you've got a beard as well. It's closing over the face. Whereas, what's the difference when you lift that up off your face? It really opens up your features. Yeah. You see that? And then you can have a bit of length through the top. Now, I think with your, your hair as well, you've got a lovely wave to it. And again, it's so thick and full. I think you want to show that off. Yeah. I'm open, I'm open to your suggestions. That's yeah. why I'm here. Okay, mate. Okay. Yeah, I can see something really cool with your hair. And again, it isn't just about me making it look good today, it, it's a very achievable style. Everything yeah. I do, I try to make it achievable for everyone else at home when they're in a very, you know, you might get up with, with 20 minutes to spare, you know. They, that happens to me a lot, so, you know, I just don't want to be able to start my hair well. So if we were to connect in the sides, because at the moment you've got, you've basically got yeah. a kind of side part at the moment. No, exactly, you've got, yeah. You've got a disconnect, you've got quite a heavy uh, asymmetric hairstyle at the moment, and the fringe is longer than the back, which is fine. You can have asymmetric fringes, just asymmetric bits through here don't really go. Yeah. That's what I mean. Asymmetry in hairstyles work really well if it's mainly the front or you're doing something that is meant to be off, whether it's down on the side and you've got maybe more like an asymmetric sort of like longer style like this. But when it's just these bits here, after a couple of weeks, these bits have no place to live. They've got no support underneath, they've got no support next to it. It just wants to flop over to one side or go forwards like it wants to. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing it like this and obviously when I've been going to like a 10 pound barber, they just cut it to the style it currently is. Oh, so yeah, they've been leaving it. like these lengths, but yeah, in the wind and stuff. It's yeah, it, it looks like you've got a comb over sometimes. Yeah, you know, it's no. that long yeah. because it's it, because it is so long that that wind blows it, it looks like you're trying to yeah. cover something up around here when you, you're not. Yeah. You know, if anything, you want to celebrate what you've, what you've got. Yeah. I think it's just, you know, it's not to do anymore, which is, which I'm glad you come on the channel actually, mate, because, a lot, you know, not many people like to talk about hair transplants. Yeah. I don't know why, but, I don't know why, why it's a taboo. It's only it is as much anymore with the you know the whole Istanbul kind of Turkey yeah. hair transplant thing has just took off, hasn't it? You know, so and I think it's great. I've just had a maybe had one done in January, in no November, December. Unbelievable! And for what he paid for it, yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Like, well, exactly. I mean, you know, Turkey is, is cheap. You can obviously go more expensive yeah, course, in the yeah. UK and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but exactly, yeah. on this side, it's a bit thinner. So yes. it's like on this side, there's what what they call doubles. So there's some like extra grass, yeah, yeah, yeah. extra yeah. hairs from the graft from the graft yeah. possibly gone there. So I'm, I'm totally open to showing it off though. And yeah, yeah, yeah I think you should be, yeah. definitely. See, because with, with the hair transplants, if anyone watching, don't know. First of all, check out Martin's YouTube channel. What was it called? Yeah. Hairline Confessions. Hairline Confessions. I love that. <laughs> Can I come on? Can I come on? <laughs> yeah, It'd be great. I'll put some of this video. On yeah, that. definitely. Yeah. Um, so that 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 is definitely worth checking out. 100%, but also we can talk today about the different types of hair transplant hair techniques as well, because I've, I've worked with a lot of different transplants throughout the UK, and you've got generally the strip, which is the old school way of doing it, but there's a guy that, that I know um, who does it so it looks like a scar, and it's incredible, right? And they say that is, they say that's the best chance of getting as much hair into the head, right? Because it's basically sliced like, it's like cut like a big giant loaf and then sliced like a loaf of bread and you're retaining the hair itself inside the skin. So essentially that's the best one to do. The only risk with that is you're left with a big, big scar. If they're not, if they're not any good at it, you know? Then you've got FUE, which I think you've got. Yeah, that's so that's follicle, that's follicle unit extraction, right? That is where you take the follicle out, right? Set it aside and then they place it in the hair. And then you've got DHI, which is direct hair implantation, which is where they take the hair out, put it straight in, hair out, in, hair out. In. So it's out, it's, out of the, it's out of the scalp in the less time than what FU is. And again, it's all about chance of survival. It's like, I think they're like, I think the strip is something like 90 something percent. I think DHI is 80 something percent. I think FU is closer to DHI now. I think there's only two or three percent in it of what the longevity of the hair will be in the scalp. Yeah. And FU is the one and DHI the one which is scarless. All you're left with is like little dots on the scalp. Yeah, it's, Can't because, really. it's because they extract the follicles too closely together, which causes like a bald patch. Bald patch yeah. But yeah. I mean, for me, I would rather have the hair here yeah. than there. So exactly, mate. no one's going to know it's the back of my head. So. No, no, when it's all lined out, it's tapered and all that, no one, no one can see yeah. it. You know what I mean? No one can see it at all. Because essentially what I was thinking today is that you've got, you've got, you've got, I think you've got one or two options, right? Again, 
I think it's the way it is now. Because I don't think it looks that bad at all. And we are in artificial light, right? And I seen you outside. I couldn't see it. When, when, when I was looking out the window I mean, I, a few minutes ago when Liam went down, I couldn't see it. Yeah. And, you, and you were turned around. And I couldn't really see it. So if I was to, let me just get my brush. I, do you know what? The more I see this and the more I'm brushing this out, the more we're talking about it, right? I think what would look nice for you is I think if we were to do a taper on yours, more than doing like a fade all the yeah. way around the back and sides, because I think the length on the back and sides of yours now would be nice. I think it's not a bad length. I think compared to everywhere else, it looks out of place. But I think if we were to take out the side bends, blend out the neck, by blending out the neck, we would draw attention to the fade on the neck. We would take attention away from the, 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 the slight patchiness. It's not even that bad, right? You take you draw attention away from that. I think if we were to do a one or a two on the back and sides, it'd look all right. But I just think it might, it's a bit of a, I don't know how it's gonna look, right? Course, yeah. I've never done it before. Yeah. Everybody's a different, that, that looks not too bad now, but if I take the two to that, it could go really bad. You don't think, oh God, I'll go fix that. Whereas I think at the minute, if we were to take the, take again the, the, the sort of eyesight off that and focus it on the top, focus on the, the, the really sharp blend on the sides and around the neckline, I don't think that would even be noticing. Yeah. So anybody walking, walking past in a bar, chatting away to somebody, you'd have to look closely at that because there's so much, there's so many other things going on in this hairstyle that complement you and complement your face and complement, hopefully complement your hair, uh, your lifestyle. That is going to be like a minute thing, yeah. personally. Okay, are you happy to leave it to me? Perfect, I really am, yeah. All right, because I think we've had a good enough chat now tonight. Yeah, yeah. I think I know where we're going with it. Definitely, let's do it. All right, man, sweet. All right, cool. Right, let me get you gowned up and get you started. All right. Right, guys, so I'm going to start by cutting in the top. I want to create the shape that I'm going for. Now, I'm glad that we haven't got the bit of the crown, but hopefully the taper will create more head shape at the back. That's what I'm looking for. Now, the style I'm going to choose is I want to, basically what I'm going to try and do is show off this new hairline because it looks so good, right? You can see, I mean, it suits him so much. Just, look, just like that, it suits him a lot. But I'm also loving that wave that he's got in and I want it to be as low maintenance as, as matching to his face shape and everything else. Just so I don't want you to get home tomorrow because the thing that people forget, we've got an autopilot, right? Our autopilot is standing here, yours is this. Yeah. You've done it when you sat down yeah, yeah. and I clocked it. And I think a lot of us barbers and hairdressers would be cold weed people. These are the things I'm looking out for when someone comes in. So if anyone comes in from this, I'm not, I'm not done with it, don't feel subconscious. I'm only, I'm only looking at things that I can see that I need to change or work with, right? Now, this is the thing we need to get, get rid of, you doing this, yeah. right? So I, that's why I make the hairstyle, my, my hairstyle that I'm gonna do to you, that's why I make it look bad. But I need to change yours part because that is not flattering to you at all. Okay. All right, I think there's so much more we can offer now with you having a new hairline. All right, so this is the thing we need to get rid of. Hopefully when this is blended into the sides, then it will create, it will, hopefully it will stop you from doing it. And I'll also show you how to style at the end as well. Perfect. Because that's the thing you need to take away with you is, is a little bit of education on how to style your own hair as well. Um, so I'm gonna start with the back. Now I want to take this to a length that is very easy to play around with, but also still keeps in the wave, all right? That little bit of kind of curl that Martin's got, because I think it's great. I think, you, you know, when you find a guy who's got this kind of texture here, the kind of wave, sort of straight, such a little bit of curl in there. It's the best hair to have, in my opinion, because you can do so many things with it. You can emphasize the wave, you can emphasize the curl, and you can straighten the hair. All very, very easily with a hairdryer and a diffuser. That's all you need. Nozzle, a hairdryer, and a diffuser, pretty much. So I always think it's nice to give you options. One day, if you fancy blow drying it straight, you can. If you want to blow dry it a bit higher, you can. If you want to just let it go out and just put a bit of soft spray and let it curl, you can. These are all things that can be very, very easy for you to do at home. And I want this one hairstyle to give you two, three looks, hopefully, all right? And the way you do that is you cut a hairstyle and a uniform hairstyle that suits you and your face shape. That is how you do it. Give a little bit more length at the front and add the texture that's gonna help you create these different styles. All right, so start the back, you're gonna take it to a length, like I said, that we can just style it, all right? So where's the wave? So if I hold the, the hair through the comb, just let some, that's where it bends about halfway through. So I reckon if we were to leave, I reckon if we could get away with taking up that much off, that'd be nice, because that's still with quite a lot of it. I can also try and create a bit of a connection on the sides there as well. All right. And as we get to the front, I'm gonna disconnect it because I wanna work with the way the hairline is on the left-hand side, and probably the right-hand side as well, where 
because the way the hairline is is placed, that it's not on the round of the head. It's not. It, it, we've created a new recession point basically, which won't match into the natural round of the head. So what I want to do is create this connection in the fringe. It doesn't look like we're doing it for any other reason other than to have a little bit of movement and height in the fringe. Okay. So you can nice small sections pull them straight up and use the guy from behind. And if I pull it straight up, it will naturally create an over direction as we get to the front. Sorry, Mom, would you be able to just start to tie it a little bit for me? Because my, my five or eight frame doesn't really work for me. <laughs> what the hell's up here? <laughs> Don't put that in me. I'm 5'10 really. And keep on that up like so. And this is where we start to connect that fringe in. So as you can see, watch how much length there is at this point now. See, loads of length, and as you see, it's very dry at the ends. So I think by taking that length off, we did, it's been the absolute perfect length because it's now going to strengthen up the fringe as well. If you look at the fringe now, now it's been cut. Look how much stronger that looks compared to what it did. Right. Now, what we're going to do here is I'm going to follow the, the corner here because I want to try and start connecting this side in and the other side. So, more than keeping it like straight as I normally would like that, I'm keeping that corner in because I need to try and connect it because it's just so, it's blended so high on both sides that if I kept the corner in, it'd be, it, you'd just be basically in another disconnection. So I'm gonna work a side of this and I'm gonna use the tapering and maybe just the tapering around the, look, like around the ear and stuff to create the shape that we're looking for. And with the fringe being shorter and higher, it's gonna help me as well. Following the hairline round. No. So we'll connect there. Let's get the fringe, okay? We need to disconnect it from the round, okay, from the hairline, not from this bottom bit here. I want that to sit into the sides. And that way it won't just be hanging out in like kind of no man's land. It'll have a bit of structure to the, to the front that if it falls either down or up or whatever, Again, the whole point I want to try and create for Martin is like a few different hairstyles that you can just do depending on, on how he feels. Okay, if he feels like he can't be bothered one day, great, better salt spray, even nothing, that'll be fine. Fancy's really going, going all out, he can create something really nice. This, like, sort of disconnection through here, just asymmetry through the, the sides that's coming from this point here on the new hairline and the round of the head, it doesn't, it, it will always just sit there, all right, because there's, there's nothing supporting it anywhere. So I don't think we need it, I don't think it's doing us any favours. So especially with what I'm trying to achieve. So I'm going to connect that in to the sides. You see not much of to come off through here. We've, we've pretty much connected it. There's a few little bits there. Using that guide from the middle, if I want to start trying to get rid of this asymmetry on this side here now. There's a guide I'm using, and there's a guide I'm trying to follow the that side. And still pull it up, so we're still creating that natural disconnection and over direction as well. So this connection being the front a little bit longer, especially it looks it, but also we're pulling it kind of back away 
from the other sections as well. So what they're doing is just kind of creating this, uh, a sort of disconnection and by pulling it straight up, it's becoming over directed because we're not going with the way it goes like that on the round. We're not pulling it forwards if we were, we'd be taking off all what's left over there. Okay, I've been a bit on, on this side. All that length doesn't need to be there. This is where we connect there. That's sort of undercut here, like so. So much. It's a little bit down, she has a little bit of texture to it, just by putting cutting in. Starting on the fingers quite low and then raising the fingers as you go up. So you kind of give a different sort of uh, length as like, through the top, through the sections. So you've got short, long, long, long. So I'm going to use a little bit of product in this to dry it through, just to see how it's starting to sit. Now I'm going to use a little bit of the label men thickening tonic, only because I want to, with with the hair texture being like a finer texture, there's a lot of it, but it's a fine texture, that's why it kind of bends and moves around a little bit, or add a little bit of bulk to the hair. All right, we do. Three sprays, which is it, right? Now, I'm going to use a vent brush first, now you can just use your fingers, okay? Finger dry if you want, and brush if you want, whatever you prefer to do, whatever you're comfortable doing, you could just use your fingers and do this. I just want to show you what you can achieve, all right? Now when it comes to dry it off, try your fingers from right to left, and then from left to right. You want to break up the growth pattern, okay? Best you can. That way first, and then do it. I want to go this way you see, so go in the opposite direction first. Alright. Straight up, like so. Do your fingers, you put your fingers just like this. When you mount your fingers like this, use your fingers as a brush. Brush it to one side like that. And then brush it on that side. And cross in the other way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a nice taper to the hair. I want to just kind of clean, make it look cleaned up. That's what I want to do. Right on the, on the bottom here, we'll taper it freehand with the comb and the trimmer around the ears and then we'll taper the neck. So since you want to leave a lot of the length and then I'll connect in the crown and connect everywhere else as well. So it'll look like it's completely fresh haircut without taking too short. And I think it's a good length that you're on there. So I think that is roughly, I'm going to say, you know, should we see a seven? Bang on a seven on a clipper. All right, maybe a six down the bottom. So that'd be like you asking for a six back inside with a taper. All right, that's what the length is now.
All right? So, I'm gonna start with number two. I'm gonna blend it into the beard. Start here, then we're on this angle like this. We'll start with number two off. Again, I just want this to be a very nice, clean looking finish. I'm not gonna start shaping up hair when it's too heavy and stuff like that. I want to just really blend in all that. Move it through the top, blend it through the sharpness running back inside. But I don't want one thing to be the standout sort of look. I want I don't want the, the sort of shape of the hairline too much and I want that to be sort of standing out. I want this all to just blend in lovely. Alright. Now the back, I'm gonna do two and a half and we're up just before the donor area, which was just there. Okay, that's the bottom of it there. We use that to work up and off to it, okay? So, we're going down to number two. Make it up and off. And the reason why I start at the top of the thing is I want to blend all this in, and you can see that undercut is taking out. It's got a long shape, it's connected right to the next point. And I also want to see how the hairstyle will, will, will pretty much be finished off. And that way I can build the back and side to that, if that makes sense. It's not just like I'm kind of guessing to do on the tape there. I can see exactly how the shape is starting to, to sit. Without a little tweak, a few tweaks anyway. Now moving on to number one. Leave it open. I'm going to blend it in down into the beard right here. Sharpen off down the bottom. Okay, let's go down. Okay, we're going to pop here. Like so. Down to the neck, one and a half up to where the two started. Again, to start to shoot scalp exposure now. Take the scalp exposure away from the area above. It also doesn't really clean up the, the haircut, it doesn't make it look like he's had a full fresh haircut more than he's had a, a, a new style cut into what is some of it is still the original haircut you walked in with. So, there we go, same the side now. Now, just on the neck, 0.5 there's here, okay, just to blend it right down and out. 0.5 up to where the one started. Like so. And then just go through the lever, as you get lower down, until you get to zero. Now switching combs, switching tools, I'm moving on to my trimmers now. So I'm going to start to shape this up and just kind of give them a bit of a cleaner finish. I'm not going to cut into the hairline too much, just want to strengthen it up and then I'll work around the ear and blend it right up to nothing. So the hair is going to look really nice and clean. Just taking away a few of them little kind of odd. And sort of left on their own hairs just here, which are making it look untidy. So three or four uh, hairs just on their own hair, which you can get away with, which will strengthen up. Temple on the side there into the beard. So as it's start, as it's cut and it's sort of drying, I'm just going to use horizontal sections and just point cut into around this bit here, just to break up that transition, and just also cross check to make sure that it's not hanging over where it should be. Just to that fringe a little bit there as well. Now as we're on that side. I'm going to work some scissors over the comb from the bottom. 
And just to make sure we just have a little bit of a taper towards the ear. And then we blend in that taper on the side bend as well. It's almost turned into like a bit of a scissor cut really. Just point it into that, that corner around the head. Something here. On there, see? Coming back from the crown away. It's kind of hanging over it. So we'll have to just go a bit out, but you're ready to tell. There's no difference in, in sort of colour of the hair. It's not like it's gone too short. So you probably won't be able to tell, to be fair. So would you say that was a barber who's done that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just too hot. I don't know, I, don't, I, I mean, unless you had to go do it yourself. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just... But I wasn't sure if it was related to my hair transplant, you know, like the crown from what I've seen pictures before and after looks like it's... No, it's just, it's just cut too short. It's yeah. just a little bit too hot, that's obvious. It's, it's, the thing is, though, it's not, it's not going to be noticeable to you, okay? It's noticeable to me, because obviously I... I, I you know, of course, yeah. You, you're part of the job in it, you know what I mean? So, um, but it's not, it won't be noticeable to you at all. But it, I have a bit of a sticker for like, you know, every single thing on the head has got a, a, a part to play and a role to play, you know? Yeah. Whether that be a little kind of tiny bit of short, shortness here, I think that from a different angle, you're going to notice it. It's just the way I am, mate, you know? It's just perfectionist, mate. I can't help it, really. There we go. That's the difference with a 15 minute, 10 pound haircut, isn't it? Not always. Be surprised. I think it's one of those, it's like, I don't know, it's a tough one. It's, it's hard to say because like, I don't know. I don't know what, what the situation was. I don't know why it happened. It could be, we all have a bad day, right? You know, we all have different days where we probably, you know, make a mistake. Probably me as well, you know, to be fair. No one's, no one's perfect, right? We all, we all make a mistake somewhere. Um, so yeah, I think it's just about time, you know, people having enough time to do these things as well, you know, you know to take the time to have a couple of chats and all that sort of stuff, you know. Just get a little bit of this just to make sure it's all going out evenly as well. I'm going to go down to the taper, make sure. I'm just going to work into the thin that little bit out there, just a touch. I'm working up this a little bit of the razor right now. It's just a little bit too fine for the razor at the minute. It feels like it's might have been thinned out slightly on the top. A bit, maybe may overly thinned out. So I don't want to thin out too much more. I don't want to use the razor because I don't think there's enough thickness and structure in the hair that the razor will really appreciate, but not the look will appreciate the, the razor use. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to use um, some point cover techniques just to kind of break it up a little bit more. Just do this corner here. Where the asymmetry has been, you tend to get a lot of build of, of thickness because the hair doesn't get cut as often in that, in that section. You tend to get a lot of build of thickness, so I'm just trying to break that little little bit up here in the round of the head. Like so. Because you have to feel the difference in thickness, you know, for yourself, you can feel the difference yourself. So it's not mega difference to what you came in with. In terms of length at the front, short back and sides. But I think the, the balance of the hair goes better for you personally, face shape wise. I think it'd be way easier to style as well because you haven't got a load of length here trying to find a place for it to live. But it's also got a lovely shape that sits really well and you can see that solid uh, curve at the jaw as well, I think personally. Style wise, I'm going to put a little bit of style on powder. It's red Ken powder grip. I'm going to put a little bit of that for you. I think we all need to use a thickening tonic. It's actually got, if you feel your hair now, you can feel the, the thickness in the hair. You can feel what it's done to it. Give it like that thicker, drier feel, in a sense. Not like a dry where it feels dry, but that it feels thicker, all right? Now, a little bit of powder is going to be able to add more thickness to it, which is always good for the look we're going for, but also it's going to allow you to really scrunch bits, stand bits up, move bits about, and it's completely pliable to wash it out, basically. And then make it over the top, like so. And then just with your little finger, just separate your hair and put it in at the roots, like that. And that'll just give you a bit of more kind of thickness at the base of the hair as well. All right. Now we're in like a shampoo, starting from the back to the front. 
And that autopilot this week, you have to get rid of it. What you need to do now is when it comes to stylus, bring it forwards, bring the fringe up like so, and bring that back like that, not forwards. Bringing it back actually follows the shape of the head. All right? The way it wants to actually grow is back that way, not forwards. Play around with it. Do you want to put your glasses on and have a little look for me? Yeah. So what you think? Well, yeah. Much better. Looks nice, doesn't it? I want to just show you the back so you can see where I was going with it, alright? But we haven't touched any length around here at all. But even by tapering, just see how much more that sits around. Yeah. Like that. See? How much more balanced that all sits as well. It was so a heavy kind of side. It doesn't look yeah. asymmetric at all. The height is showing off. The face shape is showing off your features, which is where you're going to be in. Closes your features in. It's showing off your hairline, but also the texture in it as well. It looks great. No, you really can't, man. No. On the other side as well. Just an illusion, you know? Just the illusion. Okay? You wouldn't even know you'd even anywhere in the uh, transplant, mate. Yeah. At all. So much better. Looks nice, and you see the way you see all that kind of that texture sitting through there as well, and the crown is actually sitting in play now. It's not just yeah. not just one big heavy long strand of hair that's coming around, you know. So it's just such a, a neat haircut now. You know? It is, isn't it? It was a, like a mess before, really. It is neat. Yeah, you will see it better when you watch the video back. Yeah, because it's, sometimes it's hard to see when you when you've got it now. You can't, it's hard to remember what it was actually like, right? But when you watch. The, the video back, you'll see the before shot and the after shot, the difference in the complement of your face shape, of your, of you know, the head shape, the, the procedure you've had done, you know, things like that. There's loads of things that it'll, that it'll change, you know? So you happy? Very happy with that, yeah. yeah. Just so much, it's what I wanted really, because like I said, I was just doing what I've always done, like you said, just have it to just wake up and do it that way. Yeah. So for someone with a fresh pair of eyes, very talented guy like yourself to, to obviously, Sort me out, I'm, I'm re very happy with that, thank you. I think it suits you a lot. I think you look, I think I think the last the last style you were going for, all, I feel like it almost kind of, it, it, it didn't complement your, your height as well, or your face shape, because you're, you're very tall, right? And I don't think having something really flat kind of helps with that. I think, it, I don't mean having like a really high quiff, because that can make you tall, just something that yeah. balances out the, the, lot, the, the sort of, the length of the face, the body, the torso, everything else. There's little things that the hair can change as well. The hair, the hair is a very powerful tool to have. It's the, the only tool that really can complement everything of us. Um, yeah, and that's know. that's why I'm an advocate for having a hair transplant. Yeah, Obviously, my hairline is still a high hairline, and some people will misinterpret that as like I'm receding, but that's all. That's just the hairline I've always had. That's it. it. Yeah, exactly. I think you suit what you have, right? A lot yeah. of the time, some people don't suit being bolder. Yeah. Some people don't suit it, and I think if you can change that. I mean, if I if I if I wasn't blessed with with a good a good head of hair, I you know. But, but the thing is that you know it's like is like you can have a good head of hair, but I don't like my hair texture. I'd like prefer your hair texture. You know what I mean? Like, as much as I and there's people out there probably looking going, I wouldn't mind just having your hair done, you know, or whatever. But it is true. Is you you always want what you can't have, or you know what I mean? It always seems to be the way, doesn't it? So, but um, that looks great, mate. No, thank you. I'm, I'm ready to go grey like you though, mate. Honestly, yours looks good. Yours is yeah, the trend. Yeah, what's that? I don't, I don't know. Yours is it the trend. I had someone say to me, um, I can't remember if it was in, it was like press or something like that. Um, the guy was like, oh, I love your hair. I love your hair. I was like, oh, nice one, mate. And he said, where'd you, where'd you get coloured? I was like, nowhere. <laughs> it's just natural. But your beard's so dark, your hair's white. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's just natural. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're happy, mate. It looks great. No, brilliant. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much, man. Thank you.